What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome back to Sagittarius Empire. Here to give you another message. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel to help our family grow. Um, Sagittarius, this is your how can you manifest your soulmate right now, starting right now, okay? How can you, Sagittarius, manifest your soulmate? So I, I would love to do this reading for you, Sagittarius, because I know we've been doing, you know, and all the energy is coming out about this old person. Let's do, let's manifest your soulmate. Let's manifest this new person, okay? So definitely please take what resonates. Um, leave it us not. Uh, thank you so much for all your support, Sagittarius. I truly appreciate it. Um, yeah, so Sagittarius, if you like my vibe, please be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, Saggy. <clears throat> so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Holy Spirit. This is for my Sagittarius Holy Spirit. How can Sagittarius manifest their soulmate? So the first card we'll pull on is the card to represent that you can manifest, okay, the soulmate to your life, okay? Yes. So what is the so what is the card that Sagittarius can manifest the soulmate into their life? What's the energy? What is the energy, Holy Spirit? Let's cut this deck first. For my Sagittarius. Let's cut this deck, Holy Spirit. Let's rock this deck for my Saggy babies. All right, Holy Spirit. Two. Oh my God. Look. At the bottom of this deck, we got two of cups here. Okay. A partnership commitment. This is love. This is soulmate energy. Two of cups. Like a bond between you guys. Okay. It's already starting out good, Sag. All right, Holy Spirit, let's see. <clears throat> the first card is to represent a soulmate that you can manifest into your life. So tell me, Holy Spirit. Oh, three of water. This is how you can manifest the person to your life. Three of water, Pis um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay. Mm. All right. How can you manifest this soulmate to your life? Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. It represents a soulmate that you can manifest into your life. So basically, when you celebrate, when you're in a happy spirit, Sagittarius, when you're just um, just going out, just happy with inside yourself, um, just hanging with your friends, just feeling free, um, I feel like you could be seeing butterflies also around this time that you're going to meet your soulmate. But I feel like during this time when you are this happy, and celebrating your life, yourself, your family, whatever it is, Sagittarius, this is how you're going to pull this person in, okay? You had to be satisfied with inside yourself and with the people around you, okay? With this Three of Cups energy. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get more clarity. Holy Spirit for Sagittarius. Tell me more. The card that represents the soulmate that Sagittarius can manifest into their life. Tell me more about the soulmate that Sagittarius can manifest into their life with his three of water. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me the energy of the person that Sagittarius can manifest into their life. Tell me more, okay? This person is going to make you laugh. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Nine of Coins. So I feel like Sagittarius, definitely when you meet this person, they'll be very single and you'll be single too. Just having fun, okay? In your state of abundance, I feel like also Sagittarius, if you're having financial issues, I don't know. I feel like you might not meet this person, but I feel like when you're self-sufficient Sagittarius, when you are, are on your own, when you have definitely fulfilled with inside yourself, feeling free, this is when you'll meet this person, okay? Yeah. This is definitely when you'll meet this person. So it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. It could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. At the end of the reading, I pull, will pull the initials, the possible person that could be your soulmate. And I'll give you some advice. All right. Second card. How can Sagittarius vibrationally attract this person into their life? Okay. How can Sagittarius vibrationally attract this person, this soulmate? into their life holy spirit how can sagittarius vibrationally attract this person into their life holy spirit how can they vibrationally attract this soulmate into their life holy spirit 
how can they attract this person the soulmate okay queen of air <clears throat> So how can you attract this person is when you very, um, I feel like self, like, like you are, like you are sure with inside yourself, queen of air, to, um, this is Gemini of Aquarius energy. When you know exactly what you want. Okay. Sagittarius, when your swords are not drawn, but your swords are down and you're like, you know what? I know what I want. This is what I'm going to stand for. This is what I'm not going to stand for. And this is how it's going to be. This is how you're going to attract this person. Um, not an energy of letting people display you, Sagittarius, and getting over on you with this Queen of Air energy. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Give me one card on this Queen of Air. How can Sagittarius vibrationally, positively, vibrationally attract this person, this soulmate, into their lives? Tell me more about this Queen of Air. How can they do this, Holy Spirit? How can they vibrationally attract the soulmate into their life holy spirit how can they do this the six of swords oh hold on this bell cards falling hold on guys okay so the six of swords here okay um definitely sagittarius how to attract this person is when you have have resolved conflicts conflicts with inside yourself like I said, when you're when you're in this moment where you become stable, I feel like Sagittarius, when you meet your soulmate, you're gonna be in a place of where you are very self sufficient. Okay. It's not it's it, I feel like it's gonna come to you when you're not even looking for the soulmate, okay? When you're not even looking for this person, when you're in this peace and harmony with inside yourself, just having fun with your fan family family and friends, Sagittarius. This is when you're going to meet this person. And when you meet this person, they're going to be so attracted to you and vice versa. <clears throat> okay. Let's get some more energy. Holy Spirit. All right. How can Sagittarius be more open to receive this person? How can Sagittarius be more open to receive their soulmate, Holy Spirit? How can Sagittarius be more open to receive their soulmate? All right. Let's see. How can Sagittarius be more open to receive their soulmate, Holy Spirit? Best and highest energies. How can Sagittarius be more open to receive their soulmate, Holy Spirit? Okay, we got a seven of air. Oh my goodness, it came back out. Okay, okay. All right, let's move these up so we all can see them. Sagittarius, how can you be more open to receive this person? Seven of air here, seven of swords. Okay. And then we have the two of water. The two of water is soulmate energy. Um, the way that you can be more open to receive this person, Sagittarius, is when you're definitely ready for a partnership, when you're ready for a commitment here, when you are definitely ready to um, not, okay, be uh, like running from this person or in a seven of swords energy of where, you know, I'm going to run away from this connection. I'm afraid, you know, this is where you need to be. Okay. You need to be more open to love. Basically with this two of water, you need to be open to this, open to a commitment. You cannot um, pull this person in if you're not ready. You have to be ready here. Okay. <clears throat> King of water could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody very compassionate, understanding, trustworthy that's coming in. Okay. Mm. I'm here in Sagittarius. I, I never met anybody like you. Okay. Whoever's coming in, they're very stable. Holy Spirit, tell me more. Okay. A way that Sagittarius can be more open to receive this person. We have the seven of air. A way that Sagittarius can be more open to receive this person. Tell me why, why is the seven of air here? How can Sagittarius be more open to receive this person with the seven of air? <clears throat> Page of Wands, okay? This is um, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. All right, so Page of Wands in the Seven of Air. Let's see. I feel like you need to be more open to the idea of this good news, this person. Because I feel like when you meet them, it's going to be like, you know what? Hold up who sent you this is too good to be true okay 
that's what I'm getting here. This person may like to travel. Okay. Very exciting and charismatic here. Um, eight of coins. And they're very detailed. They like to work. Okay. And they like commitment here. Nine of cups. This is like your wishes coming true during this time when you're meeting your soulmate. Just feeling good. Feeling happy. Feeling satisfied. Okay. Tell me more. Um, a way that Sagittarius can be more open to receive this person with the two of water. Tell me more about the two of water. How Sagittarius can be more open to receive the soulmate. Tell me more about this two of, okay. I don't know if that meant come out. The Ace of Swords. Sagittarius, like I already said, spirit, spirit is like you know what, you already, you already said what you had to say about this, okay. With this two award, you have to be very clear and very truthful to you to yourself, Sagittarius, when this person comes in, okay, to to be more open to love and have clarity, Ace of Swords, okay, and not be decisive, okay. To know exactly what you want. You cannot be decisive, Sagittarius, when this person comes in. All right. Ace of Swords, like standing in your truth here. Knowing exactly what you want. Okay. And that's how you will meet this person. To be more open to receiving this person. Because they're coming in with this two of water, Sagittarius. There's a commitment here. It is. This is, this is being in love. I'm hearing it feels good to be in love with someone. If someone loves you back, somebody loves you back. I don't know if it's Luther Vandross. Y'all listen to that song because it's going to feel so good. Okay. Yep. Eight of Wands. It's going to move fast. You could travel to, to see this person. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, tell me more about this soulmate Sagittarius. We'll be meeting Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. How will Sagittarius meet this soulmate? How will my Sagittarius meet this soulmate? Give me one more shuffle. How will my Sagittarius meet this soulmate? How will they meet this soulmate, their soulmate? How will they meet their soulmate, Holy Spirit? Wow, that was fast. The Empress. Okay. Taurus energy. Okay. Let's see. Can y'all see it down here? No, y'all can't. We're gonna put it right there. How about that? How can you how um how how will you meet this person, Sagittarius? The Empress number three. Wow. When I feel like we got a three of earth, yeah. So I feel like when you very like you, you are really working on yourself, Sagittarius. When you know your worth, the Empress is knowing their worth because the Empress. Taurus energy, they embody the the fire, okay? They embody the earth, they embody the water, okay? And they embody the air. They got all signs and one. When you know your worth, Sagittarius, when you know who you are, when you know your creation, Sagittarius, okay? This is when you'll meet this person. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. We got the Empress here. How will Sagittarius meet this person, Sagittarius? Holy Spirit? How will Sagittarius meet this soulmate? We got the Empress here. Tell me more. How will Sagittarius meet their soulmate? The Empress here. How will Sagittarius meet this soulmate with the Empress? How will they meet them, Holy Spirit, their soulmate? How will Sagittarius meet this soulmate, Holy Spirit? Eight of coins. When you, like, Sagittarius, all I got to say is when you're working on yourself, when you fulfill with yourself, when you move past that person that, that keep coming up in your energy in these readings, when you're not thinking about that past person, you cut ties with that past person, and you just focus on yourself having fun. I don't know why I see like spring, summertime, like when you're going out just having fun. This is when you're going to meet this person. But when you're just like very detailed, where you working, okay? When you're very committed to yourself, you're sticking to your plans here. This is when you're going to meet this person, okay? Tell me more. How was Sagittarius? New beginnings here. The fool, Aries energy. And don't get tied up on the sign, Sagittarius, okay? <clears throat> Please don't do that. So the full energy, Aries energy, um, new beginnings, okay? This is definitely going to be a new beginning for you. I feel like um, you could definitely meet this person when you're traveling here, okay? At the bottom of the day, we got a few days. It's time to act now, fresh start, awakening spring. It could be spring when you meet this person, like I said. 
That's what I'm getting. Tell me more. How how um how will Sagittarius meet this person, Holy Spirit? How will Sagittarius meet this person? Give me one more energy. Best and highest energies for my Sagittarius, Holy Spirit. How will Sagittarius meet this soulmate, Holy Spirit? Thank you. How will Sagittarius meet their soulmate, Holy Spirit? Okay. Let's mix this thing up. Tell me, Holy Spirit. How will Sagittarius meet their soulmate, Holy Spirit? How will they meet this soulmate? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Queen of Cups. All right, they could they um could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. How will you meet this person? I can't say it enough. It's being emotionally fulfilled with inside yourself. Okay. Yep. Just loving yourself, Sagittarius. That's when you'll meet this person. At you know four wands. You could meet them out and about in the community here. Um, you could meet them at someone's house, at a party, some type of celebration or a wedding. Okay, at homecoming at church. This is how you can meet this person also. Okay, they wow, we got a four of wands and a ten of cups and the sun. Like this is happiness here. This is warmth, this is success, this is divine love, this is peace, stability. Okay. Let me see, Sagittarius. Tell me more. How will Sagittarius know who this soulmate is when they meet him? Okay. How will Sagittarius know who the soulmate is when they meet him? And where will they meet him at, Holy Spirit? Give me more about this soulmate that Sagittarius be meeting in the near future. How will they meet them and where will they meet them, Holy Spirit? Okay. Tell me about this soulmate that Sagittarius will be meeting. And how will they meet them, Holy Spirit? Okay. Career. They're very successful here. How will Sagittarius meet their soulmate, this person? It, how will they meet this person? Or tell me more about this person, their soulmate, they be meeting Holy Spirit. Okay. They could, like I said, you could have to travel to meet this person. They could live at a long distance here. Okay long distance they could be foreign okay let's see they could be younger than you young female young male they like fashion they like to dress here all right let's see give me one more how how will sagittarius know who this person is their soulmate holy spirit when they meet them how would they know who this person is when they meet them holy spirit their soulmate holy spirit best and highest strongest energies holy spirit for sagittarius how will they know who this person is, their soulmate is, where they meet them? How will Sagittarius know, Holy Spirit? Show me, Holy Spirit. Thank you. They may have children, okay? Um, they can have three children here. They may have one boy, two girls, two boys, two girls. Um, I mean, two boys, one girl, either one. Um, they could be like a childlike spirit where they love to have fun, very innocent also, Okay. And they're, I feel like they're going to bring new opportunities to you also, Sagittarius. Yeah, baby. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit. What will Sagittarius think about this person when they meet them? What will Sagittarius think about their soulmate when they meet them? What will Sagittarius think about their soulmate when they meet them, Holy Spirit? What will they think about their soulmate when they meet them? What will Sagittarius think about their soulmate? Okay, seven of swords came out. Mm, they, they, I don't trust them. I don't trust them at all. Mm -mm, they too good to be true. They too good to be true. I don't trust them. No, I don't trust them. Um, I, I meant to do it with this deck. Dang it. Holy Spirit, tell me, what will Sagittarius think about their soulmate upon meeting them? What will Sagittarius think about their soulmate when they meet them, Holy Spirit? What will Sagittarius think about their soulmate when they meet them? What will Sagittarius think about their soulmate when they meet them, Holy Spirit? Good God, okay, hold on now. Nine of air, two of air. A lot of swords energy here, Sagittarius. What you going to think about it, you're going to have a decision to make. This person's going to put you in an ultimatum, I feel like. Um, and you're going to be so confused and probably avoid this person because you don't know, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't know. Okay. It's like I done been played or cheated on so much in my life here that I don't know if, if this is what I want. Okay. Very guarded with your past, Sagittarius. Nine of fire here. Protecting yourself from this person. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Holy Spirit, why was Sagittarius be uh feel up feel about this person in a seven source energy okay why would they feel this way when they meet this person why would they feel this seven source energy when they meet this person why would they Sagittarius feel this way holy spirit king of swords okay because you had somebody that you know probably was very cold towards you in the past Sagittarius um you know very detached and you don't want to go back to that anymore okay and you're like really in your head. Why is the nine of air here? Why is Sagittarius in worry and sleepless nights, you know, stressing out when they meet this person? Why Why are they thinking this? Okay. Why are they thinking this about this person, Holy Spirit? With this nine of air. Why is Sagittarius thinking this about this person? The hangman. Uncertainty. Like I said, you just don't know. Like stalling here. Like you're putting this person on hold. Like, I don't know. What should I do? Okay. Because this person's coming in to love you, Sagittarius. Their their emotions is very balanced here. Very kind hearted. All right. They could be intuitive also. They coming in to blow your mind. Do you hear me? Why is Sagittarius in this indecision? Okay. Why are they will be a, in, in this indecision and avoiding this person when they first meet them. Okay, why would they do this? Knight of Wands. Because you had people in and out of your life before, okay? You had people very rebellious here. Somebody that comes in and charm you, then leave, okay? Somebody very sexy, somebody very, I heard, arrogant, okay? Yeah, find your inner truth. Okay, callous for trains, transformation, um, cosmic, there's beginnings coming. So you feel this way, Sagittarius, because of your past. Don't let your past hold you back from your soulmate, okay? Let's hurry up. Holy Spirit, last message. How will Sagittarius know this is their soulmate? Give me one card. How will Sagittarius know this is their soulmate, Holy Spirit? How they know this is their soulmate. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Go ahead and watch your daily juice, Sagittarius. I posted it early this morning. How will Sagittarius know this is their soulmate, Holy Spirit? How will Sagittarius know? Give me the best and highest energy, Holy Spirit. How will Sagittarius know this is their soulmate? How will Sagittarius know this person is their soulmate? How will Sagittarius know this is their soulmate, Holy Spirit? Wow. So the high priestess was in reverse, okay? It could be a Pisces. But when you how you know this is your soulmate, um, they're not gonna hold any secrets from you, okay? Because the high priestess came in reverse. How you know it's your um soulmate? Because we got an ego here. Hold on. Why is this ego energy? It's too much. I shouldn't have took all of these. Why is this ego energy here? Why is this ego energy here, Holy Spirit? Page of Swords. I feel like this person is going to like to really dress, okay? They like material stuff, all right? Um, and they're very smart also. They love to communicate. It could work in education. Um, how you know this is your soulmate? Because this person is not going to tell you lies, okay? They're not going to lie to you because the high priestess came in reverse. What's this page, okay? The empress came out again. I feel like how you know when this, how you know who this person is, it's like, why Sagittarius, it got in, like, you're going to feel insecure in your body. Okay, or really paying attention to your body. Or maybe you're like, oh, I need to do some sit-ups. Oh, I need to work out when you meet this person. It's going to make you feel like you need to work out. Okay, like you need to do something different. What's the page of water? This is how they know who this person is. What's this page of water? This is how Sagittarius know who this person is. The Eight of Wands. 
this person may de de definitely um be very open hearted to you. Okay, very open hearted. They may they you're going to communicate a lot with this person. They're going to love to talk to you. They may travel towards you, okay? Um and there's going to things things are going to move quickly between you guys, okay? We got the high priestess. How are Sagittarius know who this person is with the high priestess? How are Sagittarius know who this person is with the high priestess, Holy Spirit? Okay. A few days. Time to act now. Fresh start. Awakening is going to be, it's going to happen in spring. It's going to happen in spring. Temperance energy at the bottom of the deck. There's going to be a union between you and this person. Okay. It is. While you're balancing yourself out, Sagittarius. All right. Holy Spirit. This is your message, Sag. What you think? Let's get your advice. Like and subscribe, Sagittarius. What's up? Okay. Yes. How to manifest your soulmate. Also, the, um, hold on, y'all. What is it called? The, um, law of attraction. Sagittarius, you got to act like this person is already in your energy. My, um, my, my husband, my new soulmate looks like this. They smell like this. They're very kind. They're thoughtful. They got this much money. They're very independent. They're very respectful. You got to talk it out, write it down, speak it out loud, and just know it. You got to feel it in your spirit. Like, I know my soulmate is coming. That energy you put out is what's going to bring towards you, okay? Like, I know my soulmate is coming. What, what do you want in your soulmate? Write it down. And then every day, read it out loud to yourself. This is your soulmate that's coming. Holy Spirit, anything else you want to tell me? Any advice here for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, and how to manifest their soulmate, Holy Spirit? How to manifest their soulmate, Holy Spirit, for Sagittarius? Advice? How to manifest their soulmate, Holy Spirit? How Sagittarius manifest their soulmate, Holy Spirit? Advice here? Oh. Well, look at that. Calling in your soulmate. Okay, your your prayers, affirmation, and visualizations help you bring you to get help bring you together. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. Your soulmate's coming in, Sagittarius. Okay. Yes. Anything you want to give Sagittarius guidance about their soulmate, Holy Spirit? Anything here? Any guidance for Sagittarius attracting their soulmate? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Guidance for Sagittarius attracting their soulmate. Communication is the key, Sagittarius. Communicate, okay? And they're going to love to communicate with you, okay? All right. Here, Holy Spirit, one message from here. Tell me about how can Sagittarius manifest their soulmate? What do they need to do with themselves, Holy Spirit? What does Sagittarius need to change or do within themselves to manifest this soulmate, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. What is the advice for Sagittarius here? One card, please. Sagittarius manifesting their soulmate. Twinkie, twinkie, three, baby. Okay. Yes. Miracles. Okay. Miracles here. Number 42. Okay. Let's look that up. And let me read without stuttering. Like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know how you like the message, Sagittarius. All right, miracles here. Okay, temple is the high priestess. Okay. All right, so let's see. It says, Isaiah's guidance. You are magnetic for miracles. You are a miracle. What if you truly allow yourself to believe? All things are possible. Dare to dream bigger. Okay, your embodiment is, you claim you want miracles, but you take but you take and I'll be I'll believe it when I see it approach. What if you see it after you believe it? What if you see it? What if what if you will see it after you believe it? Believe that you deserve to be do have the world you want to have for you. This things believe that you deserve to be do have the world you want for yourself. You can be your true self. Do what awakens your soul and have your desires. Okay. This is life miracle. Um, if you haven't witnessed your miracle yet today, ask for it and allow it in. Your goddess declaration is my life is full of miracles. Okay. Your goddess declaration is my life is full of miracles. 
There's a miracle coming, Sagittarius. And there's a your soulmate is coming, but you got to get yourself right, okay? Cut ties with that past person, Sagittarius. Ask God to break that soul tie between you and that person. Tell God you're going to want that person no more. You need to move forward, okay? All right, what's the possible initial Sagittarius can be dealing with? This could be the street they live on, okay? Their first, last name, initials, whatever it is. This could be your initials, okay? If you don't resonate with initials, it's fine. You may resonate more with the reading. Sagittarius soulmate. Tell me about Sagittarius soulmate, Holy Spirit. We got N, B, J, M. Let's go. Sagittarius soulmate. We got V, J, A, P. I heard Paul, Victor, Janet, Victoria, Janelle. We got, uh, this is W. H I J K L. This is M. That's L. This is C and S. Let's do it one more time. Sagittarius soulmate. Okay, we got C. We got W. We got P. And we got G. All right, Sagittarius. This has been um, How Can You Manifest Your Soulmate? I love you guys, Sagittarius. Let me know how you might like this message, guys. I'm open for personal readings. If you would like one, email me. I love you, Sagittarius. See you next time. Bye.